Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a pro trap vocal track. So here I've recorded some vocals. Tell it how it is. Now double tap on the vocal track. Then tap on effects. Then tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs. And tap on the tone tab. Then tap on easy EQ. Here, easy EQ is used to remove low volume rumble. The high pass is already set to 80 Hertz, so we don't need to change it. Easy EQ is also used to remove nasal tones. So tap on the frequency text box, type in 300, and tap on save. Then tap on the gain text box, type in minus 15, and tap on save. Then tap on the width text box, type in 2.47, and tap on save. We don't need the low pass, so drag the dot on the low pass slider all the way to the right. Tell it how it is. Now tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs. And tap on the dynamics tab. Then tap on de -esser. The de is used to remove the S hiss sound of vocals. And this is usually around 7000 Hz. So tap on the frequency text box. Type in 7000. And tap on save. The threshold level all depends on how loud your vocals are, but minus 24.1 dB should be about right. So tap on the threshold text box. Type in minus 24.1 and tap on save. Tell it how it is. Now tap on the plus icon, scroll through the tabs, and tap on the tone tab. Then tap on easy EQ. Now here the easy EQ is used to give the de -a, a boost. We don't need the high pass. So drag the dot on the high pass slider all the way to the left. And we don't need the low pass, so drag the dot on the low pass slider all the way to the right. Now tap on the frequency text box. And type in the same frequency used in the de -a. So type in 7000. and tap on save. Now tap on the gain text box. Now the amount of reduction will depend on how much vocal hiss you have. But here I will type in minus 30. And then Tap on save. Now tap on the width text box. Type in 10. 
and tap on Save. Tell it how it is. Now tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on Noise Gate. Here, the Noise Gate will do three things. Remove background noise between the vocals, clean up the beginning and end of vocal waves, and work with the de and Easy EQ to reduce vocal S hiss. Attack is already set to 5, so we don't need to change attack. So tap on the release text box. Type in 100. And tap on save. Now tap on the play icon. Then drag the dot on the threshold slider, left or right, until you can hear the vocals cleanly, but no background noise between the vocals. And keep it real. Solidarity. And keep it real. Solidarity is. And keep it real. Solidarity is. And keep it real. Now tap on the plus icon. And in the dynamics section, tap on BL1176. Here we will use the BL1176 as a quick compressor to even out the basic vocal volume levels. So tap on the output text box. Type in minus 10. And tap on save. Then tap on the attack text box. Type in 0.9. And tap on save. Then tap on the release text box. Type in 1 and tap on save. Here we will leave ratio set to 12 to 1. Solidarity is and keep it real. Now tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the Enhancer tab. Then tap on Exciter. Here the Exciter is used to add some harmonic distortion to the vocals to make the vocals sound sharper in the mix. So tap on the Tune text box. Type in 1205 and tap on save. Tap on the harmonics text box. Type in 100 and tap on save. We will leave the threshold set to minus 5 and tap on the Mix text box. Type in minus 15.1 and tap on Save. Tell it how it is. Now tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs and tap on the Delay tab. 
then tap on Filter Echo Plus. Here the echo effect is used to add a short, almost hidden echo to the vocals, to give the vocals some depth. So tap on the Mix text box. Type in 5 and tap on Save. In the Time section, tap on Beat to change to milliseconds. Then tap on the Time text box. Type in 145 and tap on Save. Then tap on the Feedback text box. Type in 5 and tap on Save. Then tap on the Cutoff text box. Type in 5449 and tap on Save. Tell it how it is. Now tap on the plus icon, scroll through the tabs, and tap on the Reverb tab. Then tap on Univerb. Here, Univerb will be used to add a short, almost hidden reverb to help the vocals sound natural and blend into the song mix. So tap on the Mix text box. Type in 9 and tap on Save. And we will leave the reverb set to Women's Institute. Tell it how it is. Now finally, tap on the plus icon again. Scroll through the tabs. And tap on the Dynamics tab. Then tap on DigiComp. The DigiComp will be used to gently smooth together the volume levels of the vocals, echo and reverb. So tap on the Attack text box. Type in 5 and tap on Save. Then tap on the Release text box. Type in 200 and tap on Save. Then tap on the Threshold text box. Type in minus 30 and tap on Save. Then tap on the Ratio text box. Type in 4 and tap on Save. Knee we will leave set to 6 dB. Tell it how it is. Now tap on the back arrow. Then tap on the X icon. Everything you say to me is gonna kill your history. Tell it how it is. Everything you say to me is gonna kill your history. And keep it real. Everything you say to me is gonna kill your history. Tell it how it is. Now, lastly, I will mention that I've also added some of the auto pitch correction to give it that slightly modern feel. And to do that, double tap on the vocal track, then tap on Auto Pitch. And here I've tapped on Classic, and I've pressed on the Intensity wheel, 
and set it all the way to 100%. Now you can adjust that to suit your own vocals. And the other thing that I have done is tapped on the scale drop list at the top. And for this song, I've set it to F sharp minor. But obviously you would need to set that to whatever the key scale is for your song. And it's worth me mentioning here that actually singing slightly out of tune before you use the auto pitch will actually make the auto pitch more effective. Tell it how it is. Tell it how it is. Everything you say to me is gonna kill your history. Tell it how it is. Everything you say to me is gonna kill your history. And keep it real. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.